Well, here we go, back again with another video. And yes, some happy good news. Sunderland have made the first signing of the January window. Yes, the January window. Pierre Equa signs for Sunderland. Now, I did say yesterday and the day before that we were going to make a 100% signing this week. And the first one is through the door. This defensive midfielder. Now, let's see what the official statement says on the Sunderland website. Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Pierre Aqua. The midfielder has signed a contract at the Stadium of Light until summer 2027. So it's a permanent deal. Nice one, a permanent deal. And moves to Wearside from West Ham for an undisclosed fee. From a small village... Uh, somewhere in France, situated just south of Paris, Equa featured for RS. I'm never going to try and pronounce that. And they're going to put somewhere near Paris anyway for the youth squad. I'm going to completely destroy that if I pronounce that. The 21 year old also spent three years at the renowned INF Clairefontaine National Academy, whose graduates include FIFA World Cup winners Thierry Henry. Olivia Giroud, we have Mbappe who's been there, and Blasi Matantui before joining League One outfit Nantes in 2017. There we go. I'm not very good at French Palavu Fonse. Ho ho ho. Right, anyway. <laughs> Equa moved from the Stade de la Belgio to Chelsea. One year later and spent three years with the Blues prior to crossing the capital and signing for West Ham. There we go. I never make a very good um, commentator with it on Sky Sports. Kind of pronounce me, me, me French speaking words. Anyway, a France under 20 international, the midfielder has scored nine goals and assisted three times in 39 under 21 appearances for the Hammers. Equa said, the history and vision of the club really attracted me and I'm delighted to be here. I see myself as number eight who can handle the ball well, but I can also do the defensive side of the game. It's great to see a club trusting young players and that's something that really appealed to me. It seems a great environment for me to develop at both a person and a player and I can't wait to get started. There we go. So, the Christian Speakman way of getting the youngsters in, it appeals to a lot of youngsters because they're not getting game time at the likes of Premier League clubs, they're not getting game time even in some top end of the championship clubs. But they're young enough, they're willing to learn, and they do, you know, they are do learning the trade, earning the trade, learning the trade in, in like the, the, the youth squad and in, in the B team at these big clubs. So, yeah, he's thinking, I can get to Sunderland. I can actually get a game. He can get a game of football in the championship, really earn his trade, really learn and grow with Sunderland in the championship. We might even get into the playoffs this season, so it's a bloody good move for the young lad. I wish him all the best. And Tony Mowbray added, we are delighted to get the deal done and welcome Pierre to Sunderland. He is a player we have been monitoring for some time and we believe he will add something different to the dynamic of our midfield. We haven't Having met him, having met him, he has a brilliant personality, a brilliant personality. He wants to get better and show he can play first team football. He brings a level of physicality and we're really looking forward to working with him. Equa will wear the number 39 shirt and is expected to be available for selection when Tony Mowbray's side travelled to Fulham on Saturday. So there we go. There was a doubt that he had a picked up a bit of a niggle in his, his last match. But he, like we just said, is going to be in the squad and, and, and available to travel. Now, he's 21 years of age, born in February, uh, January the 15th, 2002. Massey in France, he's six foot two inches tall, midfield defender. So he likes to play in midfield, but he can also play in the back line. And he's, he's a big lad, he's a big lad. Now, in 2009 to 2011, he was at RA, RC, Arapajones, 
I can't pronounce that whatsoever, but 2018, he went, he went to Nantes. Then in 2018 to 2021, he was at Chelsea, then obviously to West Ham. Now in the under 16th for France, he's played 13 times, scoring one goal, then under the 20, he's played five times and he's scored no goals. And the style of player, a powerful figure, standing at 1.89 metres tall, six foot two, he has stated that his favourite role in the pitch is a box-to-box -box midfielder and he lists Zinedine Zidane as his favourite childhood idol. He also played as a defensive midfielder as well as dropping into the back line and he can play left-back and centre-back. So a very, very fantastic, exciting acquisition to the club. And I'm really over the moon. This is not a loan. I'm buzzing that we've actually got someone on it. A permanent deal. That's what we need. Permanent deals. And leave the odd loan. But there we go. The first signing through the door. Will it be many more coming in this week? Watch this space. I wouldn't be surprised if another player comes through the door in the next week before we play Fulham. So there we go. New playing. Well done. MPA have a great successful time and he's also he knows AJ Lessie as well so you know I'm over the moon with that take care god bless please subscribe to the channel if you have watched this video and you watch all my previous videos and you haven't yet subscribed I'm only 60 away from 16,000 so I could do with your help thank you very much take care god bless and we're going to watch SCFC Fan TV will be on at seven o'clock there we go give us a thumbs up as well if you're happy with Pierre Pierre yes Take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time for another signing this week. I'm telling you now, I feel lucky. <laughs>